Hey everybody, it's Steve337, everybody's talking about it, you know, the Olympics happens every six years, every two, every year the Olympics is going on, and every year that the Olympics is going on, I get so excited and I, uh, there's so many sports I love, so I thought it'd be a great idea to make a video of my favorite, my top five favorite uh, Olympic, Olympic sports, sport. yeah! Alright, so, I'm doing my list of top five Olympic sports, it's the Winter Games 2014, so, Sochi, Russia, it's a good place I've been there, I, I mean, I plan on going there, maybe, um, first of all, I want to give a shout out to my buddy, uh, he's, he's a friend of mine, he's a friend of yours, his name is Boney J, and he's been waiting for this video, you know, he sent a, a lot of support my way, uh, what happened was, if you saw Steve337's video vlog number two, you will know that I was being bombarded by voicemails from a great fan. His name is Tubes, but he went out of his way to reach me, and I had to change my number. I had to... Uh, uh, I'm not sure how he got it, but it's been changed. Um, there are laws that do things in this manner, and it's, uh, so shout out to Boney J, and, uh, shout out to Tubes, uh, no more voicemails, please. So my top five, here we go, number five is a sport that you played as a kid, I played as a kid, and I did this all the time, it's called the javelin toss, and you go outside and you get the stick of indeterminate size, any stick will do, and you throw it as far as you can, you, you just whip it, you gotta throw it really, really hard. And they see how far it goes, and then, and then everybody wins. Number four is a tough one. Number three is a sport, snowballing. Uh, actually, it's a snowball fight, and you get snow, and you get snowballs, and you get, a, and you find a fight going on, and you, and you snowball fight, and it's a great Olympic game. They've been doing it since, I believe, 1897. I, I believe is the inaugural year. So, you know, there's been a lot of new stuff in, in snowball fights. There's a lot of uh, performance-enhancing snowballs. Number two, it's called toboggan. You get, a, you get a toboggan, and you get in it, and you go. And there's a area, and there's a clock, and then you go through the area, and they stop the clock. And it's called toboggan, and I'm still, you know, I'm a, I'm an expert of, of all winter games. I, if you ask me the results of the 1992 winter games, heat four, division three, silver medal, I wouldn't, I, I could tell you if you asked me, just ask, and I'll tell you. And it's called toboggan, and they've been doing this for a hundred years, and that's number two. That brings us to number one, Steve 337's number one. 2014 Winter Olympic Soki Olympic sport is speed, and it's a sport called speed, and what the Olympic decathletes are doing is they can't go, they can't go slower than 40 miles per hour. If they go slower than 40 miles per hour, and this is in the winter and there's snow there in Soki, Sochi, if they go slower than 40 miles per hour, the, they, will, they will explode, and they will blow up and they would die. Um, but I, I think it was, I think I'm, um, I think I'm reading off the wrong list, but, so, uh, to go through that one more time, we have five, javelin toss. Number four, maybe next time. Number three is snowballing, also known as snow, snowball fight. Uh, two toboggan, because it takes two to toboggan, I believe they say. And number one is speed. Uh, I believe Sandra Bullock is competing this year. Uh, shit, that's the wrong list. 